Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today uh, is a very special day because not all the time we have from a big house like Guerlain two releases in the same time. I have here the L'Homme Ideal Platine Privé, which I already reviewed and I hope you saw that video already. And the Habit Rouge, Rouge Privé de Guerlain Paris, which is an Eau de Parfum. If you'd like to learn more together with me, because as you can see, this is an unopened bottle, then please stay tuned. So Habit Rouge is one of the most popular scents for men from Guerlain. I had a bottle of Habit Rouge in 2010. I think it was an Eau de Parfum and for me it was too powerful, too a bit special. I wasn't used with such scents, so I sold my bottle. Recently I can say that my taste in perfumery changed a bit and the Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum, the, the current versions, I like them. I find them manly, very, very specific and manly. Uh, Habit Rouge, we had already a, a release which wasn't so good. You can see the video here. I also reviewed it uh, the moment I got the bottle, I reviewed it for you. And now I have this new release, which was released at the beginning of April 2023. So it's as new as possible and only available in France. I will now open it and also experience it myself and see how it is. So let's see how this new Guerlain is. This is the first time also for me, as it is for you, when this person gets out of its box. So that's basically an unboxing. This is how it looks like. I can tell you that in person it looks absolutely fantastic. So compared to the photos, it's super, super nice. So the bottle, as you can see, it has the red uh, cap which was used for Lomi Dal Extreme back in the day. Hmm. I can feel some leather already. Hmm. This must be very interesting. This is um, on the Gerland's website. There is a very beautiful marketing story behind it. This is a private edition designed as an exceptional cuvee. So this special sparkling wine which has a special treatment and of course will have a special price. So this, uh, these perfumes from Guerlain, this one and the Lomi Dial Platine Privé um, are probably limited. On the website it says they are limited versions. I don't know if they really are, we'll see in the next months, but this might also be a bit uh, a marketing move so that people run to the shops and buy them because you put limited in the name of a product, people will just buy it because it's limited, but we'll see. This is a tribute by Guerlain Perfumes to the first amber fragrance for men. This new edition reinvents its mythical accord of patchouli, vanilla and leather in a more sensual, more intense blend. Notes of tan leather mingle with the warmth of vanilla in bewitching patchouli to reveal an exceptional interpretation of Habit Rouge. Uh, an exceptional Rouge Privé Cuvée. That is uh, what Delphine Yelk has uh, said about this release. And um, I think we all have waited enough. I will now spray it for the first time, this new release, and tell you a bit about the notes and what do I think about it. So let's see. Wow, this is a perfume that uh, could be in the Yves Saint Laurent uh, premium uh, perfumes or like uh, this could have been released in the Lard de la Matier uh, line. So the bergamot is so sparkling and so nice. It reminds me of the original impression I had about Habit Rouge. So one thing I can tell you, this is not a crazy interpretation. This is not smelling like some whatever new perfume this is true to its core this smells like an habit rouge and the leather 
it's so beautifully crafted it has such a natural leather smell wow wow three times wow so in top notes you'll have uh, bergamot of course in middle notes you'll have patchouli bitterness of patchouli which i don't feel it yet but i know this is a, a constant note in the habit rouge and in the base notes vanilla and leather so pff, this is this is James Bond perfume, guys. This is so manly. I, I feel that I got two, three new chest hairs just by spraying this one. So it's so nice. And it's it gives me this impression of a gentleman, this French, you ever uh, saw French movies from the 60s, 70s and so on. There was this nice actor from there, uh, from France, called Alain Delon. And he was very well dressed and had this gentleman allure gentleman aura about him he would wear such thing well done Gerlan. well done delphine yelke so what i like very much is that after a while since i sprayed it the vanilla takes over so it's not very um, old man like in the same way the habit rouge that i know from in the past was doing so like i sold my habit rouge eau de parfum because it gave me the impression of an old man and I was 20 something back then so it wasn't for me but this one right now gives me the impression of a very versatile scent that can be used for uh, by a 25 year old man and also a 35 year old man and also a 65 year old man so they have done exactly what it says on the tin I will go ahead again with some of the marketing from Gerland's website said by Delphine Yelk the perfumer so she said Rouge Privé revisits the Habit Rouge myth with an exceptional new blend I agree the signature leather facet played in overdose and combined with bergamot and patchouli is even more sensual and intense this uh, you can find on the Guerlain France website as uh, in, in commas as said by Delphine Yelk and I really believe that she wanted to do this and she succeeded so I am very happy to say that the new Habit Rouge is really nice the leather is so nice and I, I guess it's this beautiful crafted accord of leather in the perfume and also the patchouli because somehow maybe it's just my nose after I inhaled a lot of the other perfume before but somehow it seems that in the in 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 the background somewhere hidden in the background there is a slight note of wood of course might be the leather together with the patchouli but this this petrol like wood accord I feel it also on my skin like I said already in the previous video about the other Guerlain, I will say it again right now. Um, I am very impressed by Guerlain. They have released two winning scents. Uh, this Habit Rouge is a winning scent. I like it so much, guys. So like uh, the bergamot now after a few minutes is toned down. It's not a freshy by no means. The patchouli together with the leather are playing such a nice game and it, they make such a beautiful perfume for a gentleman. I am not sure how it will be uh, in terms of longevity because I just sprayed it right now and this is a first impressions video but I do expect it to be slightly stronger than the Eau de Toilette or the other uh, released perfume the L'Homme Ideal Platine Privé. Um, this is of course a men's perfume. A gentleman does not want to attract attention and a gentleman will have a very understated uh, attitude and also scent. So if this will stay close to the skin and the clothes for many hours in the same way as the other one is doing, I think it's the ideal new scent for a gentleman. So um, there is not much that I can say further about this scent right now. I think it will be slightly powerful for the warmer days. So I see it more um, the same as with the other Habit Rouges. No? I think it will be better for like colder days and colder months. But I will give it a few wearings also in the warmer days that will follow right now and probably I will do a follow-up with this new release. Thank you for watching the other video with the Guerlain release and this new video. 
please let me know what do you think about these two releases from Guerlain and if you have managed to try them or if you are curious to to try them and I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video so um, thank you very much for watching I hope to see you soon on the channel again stay healthy bye bye